Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So today we're going to be discussing something new, which is Azir, the new champion coming to Legends of Runeterra. This is going to be the final champion re uh, revealed just before the, tomorrow's patch on the 3rd of March. So we're going to get a new expansion and Azir is the last one in this expansion. So let's check it out. Shurima never fell. It only awaited my return. Oh, hello, hello. He's a big beefy boy. So he's a three cost and ascended. We'll talk about Ascendant uh, later on. So when allies attack, summon an attacking uh, sand soldier. And in order to level up, you've summoned 10 units. Okay, okay. So he's a summoning uh, condition champion. Okay. It is time. Looks nice. Shireen, see what I see. Oh, hello. So this is a central soldier that you get by uh, attacking. He's an ephemeral. One cost, one, one. Nexus strike, deal one to the enemy Nexus, okay? And carry it with you. Emperor, I am honored. You dare! Shurima's strength is... Desert Wrath, four cost. Grant allied sand soldiers everywhere, plus one, attack. And summon two sand soldiers. Okay, so he has some, uh, some support uh, spells. Pretty cool. That helps you summon a lot of stuff. A lot of sand soldiers in order to uh, evolve our Azir. All right, very nice. So they will not stay uh, like a one-one uh, champ, like at one one, one uh, power and one health. You can upgrade them. You can give them. If they can become beefy. The only problem I see with this is the fact that they are ephemeral, so they will not stay on the field. And Azir himself is not really protected, so he can die to any uh, spell targeting him. So you're gonna need some defensive spells. All right, so you attack with the criminals. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh, another spell. Seven cost. Emperor's divide. Oh, this is his ult uh, in League of Legends. It's called Emperor's divide. Uh, give enemies vulnerable this round and summon six sand soldiers. Damn, six sand soldiers. Okay, so he has like a, <laughs> a lot of support. So he is easily uh, evolvable. <laughs> if that's a word. Remember this day. While they falter, our power grows. Very nice. Oh, also the landmark that you see, the one that has uh, 19 next to it, uh, is called the Sun Disk. It's a one cost landmark that uh, helps you um, helps you level up Azir for his second uh, level up. So all Shurima champions have two level ups. The first level up is a condition level up. So each champion like has his own condition in order to level up. And the second Level up for all Shurima champions requires the Sun Disk to hit 25. So that 19 is a number uh, counted towards rounds. So each round that that passes, uh, you you get uh, you get like one count. And if you summon uh, ascended units, you get 10 counts. If you summon more ascended units, you get more counts. So if you summon like two ascended units and you like you pass like five rounds and stuff like that. This uh, landmark will hit 25, and with and when it does hit 25, and you already have a Shurima champion who is already leveled up once, he will level up twice. We will see that later in the video, and it's super cool with a super cool animation and super super cool effect. So as you can see, this is the first I level up. And with me, Shurima. Very cool, very nice. Hello. Okay, so this is the uh, first level up of Azir, our next Shurima champion. He becomes a... Three, I think he, he was a 3 cost. So, what's his uh, effect? When allies attack, summon an attacking sand soldier. When you summon an ally, give us both plus one this round. Okay? Pretty cool. And as you can see, in order to level, up him, uh, to level him up <laughs> for the uh, third time, you have to restore the sun disk. And as I said before, the sun disk is the landmark on the, on the left. So it has 19 and as you can see the landmark is about to gain uh, more uh, more rounds you see that it's counting down towards zero so it starts at 25 and it keeps counting down now it's at nine as you can see once it hits zero you can uh, upgrade uh, as you so we are attacking once more I can see this being a an, an insane like early early game domination uh, deck, like a fist deck. 
it's all about summoning sand soldiers. All right, pretty dope. So the uh, sun disk just got destroyed because it hit zero, and Azir is gonna evolve to the final uh, level up. Come, my destiny awaits. Nice, 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 nice. Super dope animation. In terms of animation, you have Azir, Sivir, Renekton, and Talia. They have the dopest animations in this expansion, which we're gonna see tomorrow. So be <laughs> be ready for that. Oh, nice. I'm already in love with this unit. So it always stays a 3 cost, and for the final um, level up, he becomes a 6-6 six, six, uh, unit. When I level up, replace your deck with Emperor's deck, then draw one. Oh, what does that mean? The Emperor's deck. When allies attack, summon an attacking sent stone charger. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Let's check this out. Let's see what a sent stone charger is. Ooh, look at that, look at that. He affects the entire deck. Holy moly. Ascend to greatness to get a powerful new deck. Okay, so you get this deck once you've ascended. Okay. Obliterate three enemies. What is this? Summoning. Oh, he summoned uh, an exact copy. Let's go back. There it is. Obliterate three enemies. Damn. And when he attacks, he summons a sandstone soldier. Super dope. This is a really powerful unit. And because we have another copy of Azir, we had another. They cheer on me. Sandstone soldier. Our legacy is eternal. All right. Yeah, this is dope. This is really dope. I can see this being like one of the top decks uh, in the next uh, expansion. We'll see about that. We'll see what kind of like cool decks we can make uh, from the Shurima region. So far, I've been a true fan of the Renekton deck and the uh, Talia deck. Talia is also a an attack uh, champion. Like it, it, it depends on a bunch of attacks. <laughs> you keep attacking, attacking, attacking until it level ups. Uh, it levels up. We can make a video on that if you guys are interested. For now, I'm just gonna keep it to an S0 video and see how it does. So let's take a look at it again, just to check out the unit itself. Here it is. As you can see, so this is as here. This is what you get at your first uh, as a first unit. When allies attack, summon an attacking sand soldier. So you get, you summon the sand soldiers. You attack with them, and uh, as you summon, we've summoned ten units. As you summon, uh, you get uh, one point towards leveling up Azir. Once you've summoned ten, he becomes uh, our beefy level two Azir. Where was the level up? There it is, right here. I have risen, and with me, Shurima. Very nice. And this is the second level up. So he becomes a 2-6 instead of a 2-5. When allies attack, summon an attacking sand soldier. When you summon an ally, give us both plus one this round. And in order to level, up, level him up again, you have to restore, restore the sun disk. And uh, so once you have the sun disk restored, again, the sun disk is a... Uh, let me go back. Is a landmark that you will find in the expansion. Here we are. Okay, so the sun disk just, just got destroyed. Landmark right here. It hit 25 rounds. Come. My destiny awaits. And we have Azir ascended. And this is the final unit that you will be getting. It becomes, instead of a 2-6, it becomes a 6-6. Your entire deck changes into an Emperor's deck. Then you draw one card. And when allies attack, you summon an attacking sand, so a sandstone's charger, which is the 5-2 uh, cost, uh, the 5-2 uh, unit right here. There it is. And in on top of that, the Emperor's deck is full of amazingly OP cards. Let's go back to the Obliterate card right here. They cheer on me. Oh. Right around here. Actually, a little bit back. Okay, there it is. When I'm summoned, draw one. That's one. <laughs> right here. Let's see how much it costs. It's a nine cost sandstorm obliterate three enemies. Like, no, no, no conditions, no nothing. If you have nine mana, 
mana points or mana gems you can just destroy obliterate three enemies pretty dope as you can see he destroyed the the swain and uh, the two other uh, uh demacian uh, attackers or noxian attackers So yeah, as you can see, it's a unit that depends a lot on uh, spamming attacks with uh, random ephemeral sand soldiers. And eventually when you've attacked enough and you had your sand disc uh, ready, you can ascend into a doper, <laughs> more cooler uh, or cooler uh, version of Azir, which is the ascended version. And your entire deck changes into a, an emperor's deck, which is super dope and full of OP cards, as you can see. So yeah, as it, we'll see about this deck tomorrow, we'll see what kind of support uh, cards we have. As I said, Azir himself doesn't have any actual protection. He needs at least a barrier or something to protect him. So we'll see about that. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys like this kind, like these kind of videos. Uh, if you do, I do play a lot of Legends of Rune Terra. It's uh, one of my favorite card games out there. Uh, so yeah, if you're interested, just uh, let me know in the comment section below, and uh, I'll make more. Uh, content like this <laughs> so yeah, i'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching and bye bye